Hey everyone, Paul here. Welcome to the channel where I make how-to videos. Time to share what I've learned and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how-to series. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the animation retargeting during runtime. In the last couple of videos, I covered animation retargeting using IK Rig and IK Retargeter and manually recreated the animation sequences, the animation blueprint, and the control rig for the foot IK. I'll be using that old project for reference, but in this video, we're going to cover a simpler method, which is animation retargeting during runtime. Then we're gonna tweak some animation shadow issues and also check the FPS of both methods. Let's go. So here I have this character that I got from the marketplace. So currently this is uh, doing the old method of retargeting. So I have an animation blueprint here and I have all the animation sequences recreated for this character. And I have the control rig, the IK rig, and the IK retargeter. Plus on the blueprint, on the blueprint, I swapped out the character and use the animation blueprint that was created. Um, let me open up the FPS here and play this again. So this is hitting around 116 to, yep, 118 FPS using this method. So let's try recreating it for runtime. So the first thing I wanna do is go to the animation here. I'm gonna right click and create an animation blueprint. Uh, the skeleton used for this asset from the marketplace is this one. It's the UE4 mannequin, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to call this ABP PC3. I'm also going to swap out that mesh. So I'll go to the preview here, I'll select that mesh, apply to asset, and go back to details. So let me dock this here. So what you want to do is search for uh, mesh and select the retarget pose from mesh hook it up like that and first thing you want to do is select the IK retargeter so under the settings here um, for the asset select the retargeter so I created one for UE5 to the player character so I'll compile save next I'm jumping back to the third person character here so I'm just I'm going to quickly swap this character back to Manny and select the animation blueprint for Manny as well. And under here, under the mesh, I'm going to add another skeletal mesh and this would be my player character. So here, I'm going to add that PC character and for the animation class, I'm going to select the one I just created, the this one. Cool. So right now they're overlaying each other. So I'm going back to the mesh here. So select the top mesh, the parent mesh. Under the details here, uh, search for visible. Uh, untick that and compile. And you would see that the characters stop animating. So for this, under the advanced option here, visibility based anim tick options, make sure that this is set to anim take pose and refresh bones and the mesh should start animating again so save that and let's test it out so when you hit play you can see that the retargeting is working the foot IK is working as well but I noticed that there is some shadow residue uh, appearing so we're gonna fix that but for the FPS there's a bit of hit that I see. There's uh, 117, sometimes I see 110. Yep. Uh, actually, this is going a bit faster. So 118 to 117. Yeah, so the FPS is a bit better. But yeah, um, let's try fixing that um, shadow issue. So to fix a shadow issue, as I select the character, and here, search for bounce. I'll create a separate video about this, but basically the shadow is overlapping to what is uh, animated. So you would need to tweak this depending on your character. So what works for me is a value four. I hit play. 
you would see that there's no more residual shadow appearing when the my character is running. Cool. So there you go. Simpler, easier method for animation retargeting during runtime. Hope you like this tip. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.